going on two years now, God began to deal with me personally. And I stood before the church in this place and I said, you know, I want the church to forgive me for my overbearingness and wanting things done and, 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 and forgot or refused to use humility to go about doing the thing that God has asked me to do. And I, I, and I, I never forget that day because I remember tears were falling from my eyes and I looked over in the mother corner. I called this the mother corner in the first section here. And, and, and I looked in the mother corner. The mother was, was crying. And I said, forgive me for, 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 for not doing things in the way that God would have me to do it with humility and love and kindness. Then it just dawned on me, I did that for the church. Then recently it just dawned on me, well, especially that son of yours, who you constantly tell him, but don't be like me, don't, 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 don't let anger get the best of you. Then it dawned on me, well, if anger is in him, who planted the seed? Come on. Uh, oh, help me somebody. Come on, sir. If anger is in him, and, and, and if you know, I'm saying he's just like his daddy, yeah. then who, because you heard me preach over and over again, a boy desire to be just like, because when a boy is little, his daddy is his God. That's right. And when he's little, he want to get out like, walk like, talk like, and be like his daddy. So it just adorned on me. If anger is in him, who made the seat? You. Uh, hey man, don't say you so loud. Talk about you. <laughs> don't be hollering at me. I don't talk about you, but, but you ain't got to holler about me. Talk about you. Don't be hollering at me so, so loud. Man. So if anger is in him, who made the seat? And, and, I, and I finally had to answer that question. I planted it. That seed. Well. And if I planted that seed, then I don't just owe the church an apology. Yes. Owe my son an apology. Yes. So I called my son and told him to come to the house. We need something to talk about. I know he thought we were going to discuss our new routine about how things ought to be done. I said, son, I need to ask you to forgive me. Wow. For planting that seed of anger wow. in you. And now since I planted that seed, it's up to me to help uproot it. Yes. And then plant or represent humility the way you ought to be. Come on, sir. So I spoke to him first. Then I then I, I, I realized that I gotta get to my daughter too, because hers is not a bad, but every now and then. Can I get a witness? Forgiveness is the process that God uses to 
And this is the reason I said the service would not be long today, because here's what God said to me. When they called me and said, Pastor, the youth want to turn it back over to you this month. And God spoke to me almost immediately. A day of repentance and forgiveness. A day of repentance and forgiveness. Now, I know I was bold enough to express myself this morning, but I have not always been there. Remember, I've been pastoring for some years. And I'm just now asking my kids to forgive me for the seed that I planted. Well, I know that I'm not the only one in here that planted some bad seed, but yet call yourself a Christian. I know there are more in here beside me that have planted bad seed in your children, in your neighbors, on your child, in your school that need to be uprooted. But God said, use yourself as a public example how it ought to be done. So church, I'm not ashamed to say, church, forgive me again for me not doing things the way God would have loved me to do it. I was just telling them this morning, tears filled my eye because Ella Melville and Ella Chet have been telling me ever since I've been pastoring, pastor, it's all right to do what you're doing, but do it in love. It's all right to do it. I mean, I mean, they've been telling me that. And ever since I've been pastor, it's all right to do what you're doing, but do it in love. You, 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 you do it in such anger to make people think you don't like them. You don't care about them. Do it in love. And, I, and Tia came out this morning when I told them in Sunday school, I wish Gail Malvo would have been here just to see how I yes, sir. took his advice yeah. and stopped doing things in that church. Shall be in danger 
or hell fire. Uh, notice, angry with your brother. Angry with your brother. That doesn't just mean that they say a little something that can upset you, but they're talking about prolonged anger, prolonged anger. Yes. Where you don't want to see them, they stay and you be around them. Yes. That's prolonged anger. And then if you find yourself angry with your brother or your sister, here's what Jesus said you ought to do. 6, 14 and 15. Matthew 6, 14 and 15. You know what Jesus said you ought to do? 6, 14 and then we're going to go to 15. Let's read it together. For if ye forgive me, let us trust for doing you wrong. Your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men, their trust passes. Neither will your Father forgive your trust. How many of us have seen that is lingering over us that we, we say that we're going to heaven, but that unforgiving sin? Is hanging on love because we won't forgive. <laughs> Your forgiveness depends directly on how you forgive others. Yes. If you want, you say, it's hard for me to forgive others, then brother, you, but my boy, you got a whole lot of sin hanging over you. Yes. And there's no way you can make heaven with all that sin leaning on you. Yes. Because you will not forgive others. But we all know this by heart, so I didn't put it up there. I just want you to understand that we ought to forgive and we ought not to be angry with one another. Because most of us, when we say we'll come into church, we say, I'm going to worship and bow down before the Lord. I'm, I'm, I'm coming to church today so I can give God praise because he's worthy of my praise. Well, then we all know the Bible says if you come to the altar, in order, let me put it, if you come in God's house, yes, thinking you're going to give God some praise, yes, and you remember yes, that a brother yes, have an out against you, yes, hold your praise. Yes, hold your praise. Yes, Go to uh -huh. your brother. Yes. Get it right. Come to an agreement. Now listen, beloved. Understand getting right or come to an agreement may be what you all decide. Well, guess what? We won't be best friends no more. But I'm going to steal what? I'm going to steal what? Your agreement may be, well, I don't think we ought to walk together anymore. But guess what? I'm going to steal. Did Paul do that with Barnabas? Come on. No, no. I mean, he said, well, guess what? That time they met in the ministry, they still show what? One another love. But Paul said, it's time for us to separate. Yes. Yes. So you can have a separation, but you must do it in, in love. I told Pastor Alvin when she came, I said, baby, listen, you a pastor, that thing is in you. I said, but when you get ready to leave, I said, just don't tell me with anger. Leave in love, and we can still love one another. We don't have to be in the store and hear one of the Lord and try to die. No, no, let's leave in love. Come on, come on. That's it. And now, when I hear a voice, I'm going looking for her just to say what? When she hear my voice, she said, well, I thought that was you, Bishop. Because when you leave in love, you don't have to hide from one another. Yeah. How many people are in church when church is over, they can't wait to get out because they don't want to shake somebody's hand? Yeah. Expose it, sir. Right, because there is no what there. There's angry there. There's not what? Love there. Come on. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking to the church now. Uh -huh. Because the Bible said, the world cannot come in and God come change them or transform them until there is love among the brethren. Yes. By this will men know that ye are my disciples if ye have love one for another. Amen. So what about you? This is a day of repentance. 
I don't care whether it take five minutes or 30 minutes. Yeah. I'm going to do as the Lord has instructed. I'm going to do as the Lord has instructed. If you're angry with your brother or sister, you're in danger of being punished by God. Yes, sir. You're in danger of being punished by God. A lot of things that you're going through, you say the devil, everything that you go through is not the devil doing it to you. Sometimes it's God punishment on you. The Bible says God chase a chastise a big dog who he loves. Sometimes it's punishment because you know the word and you're not walking in it. You're not doing it. And the Bible says to know it and not do it is sin. So you're walking in sin. A day of repentance and forgiveness. What kind of seed have you planted? I'm not the only one that planted that seed of uh, anger in my children. What kind of seed have you planted? Somebody said, Well, I wonder how come you didn't call your wine for them. Well, now listen to me. I got a bold woman. <laughs> I told somebody, some of you men could not be married to my wife. Because she would run things. If you were married to her. <laughs> Listen, I got a bold and powerful woman. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, I literally have to stand my ground when it happened and, 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 and let her know, know me. No. And when I'm standing my ground, she's still trying to push me off of that note.
I don't care how much you speak in tongue. I don't care how many gifts God used to work miracles through you. If forgiveness is not a part of your inventory, everything else is in vain. Because forgiveness is that connection with God. Because you cannot have forgiveness if there's no mercy. Because it takes mercy in order to forgive. In other words, listen, some people do something to you, they deserve punishment. If you go by what they deserve, yes, they deserve punishment. But mercy say even though they deserve it, but guess what? I'm not going to do it. Because the Bible said, to whom much mercy is shown, if you show mercy, then mercy will be. I want to, I'm up to the point now where I want to show all the mercies I can. Yeah. Why? Because in the last day, if I got something wrong with me, I want God to say, but look at all the mercy he showed. Yeah. Look at all the mercy he showed. And then when God look at that, then God said, well, his mercy will cast out that little thing. Come on in, son. Yes, sir. Yeah. What about you today? Is forgiveness required to your spouse today? Is forgiveness required to your children today? Everybody that hate, and it doesn't matter who they are, Everyone that hates someone else, it is because of bitterness and anger. Something has happened to cause them to be bitter and anger. And that is why you despise a spouse or ex and all because they hurt you so much. And so that bitterness happens. And so today, this is your opportunity. I'm free right now. Yes, sir. Because I said to my children, forgive me. Come on. I said to my children, hey, I did it wrong. Right. That, that, that means that I stuck the shovel in the ground on that roof. Oh, hey. Come on. I mean, I stuck the shovel all the way down to that roof. Yes, right. And I pulled on it, and that roof is up. Now, now, notice I didn't put it up. I had that root is shown. I went all the way down and pulled up. Well, now you guess who responsible that is to pull it up out now? To pull it out of the ground. Because I what? Have uprooted it. Now, who job is it to now to lift it up? That's their. That's their responsibility now to accept my forgiveness. And if they accept my forgiveness, it's like them taking that root. That's right. And putting it on up. Now. We begin to walk and I now begin to demonstrate humility. Now guess what? That hole is still there. But instead of putting an angle back in that hole, we're going to fill that hole with humility. Yes. Saying that, hey, if you stay humble, because if that what Michael said that we've been studying in, yes. in Michael, yes. hey, 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 but to, to do justice, mm -hmm. huh? Love, love, and, and notice how Michael said it. He didn't just say show mercy. He said love, love mercy. Love to forgive others. Love to forgive. Love mercy. And then walk with humility before your Lord. Walk humbly before your Lord. Is there anybody? This is the day of repentance and forgiveness. Listen, whether this person are here or not, you can still co confess it. Because the Bible says what? When what? Huh? If ye what? Confess and believe he is what? So even if the person is not here, you may have to wait until you get home and call him on the phone. So I'm just calling you to ask you to forgive me for what I've done. But you can confess it. Is there anybody? 